Think about our two brothers shown earlier in this talk. The Christian father and the sick brother. The Christian father ended up behind bars. And our sick brother was not miraculously healed. So was their faith in vain? For a certainty, no. Will Jehovah reward them? For a certainty, yes. If you are facing a similar situation, will Jehovah reward you? Most definitely, yes. Please watch the following video, which features the song that we will sing to conclude our convention. Enjoy this video. Should I fear the lion? Why should I fear any foe? With Jehovah by my side, I will not run and hide. My God is with me, this I know. With eyes of faith, I see beyond the darkness with eyes of faith there's nothing more to fear with Jehovah I am strong determined to go on knowing that my God is always near with eyes of
What a powerfully motivating video. Oh, thank you, Stephen. I thought so too. <laughs> so I couldn't resist making a cameo in the final video, the final music video of the convention. This is the stirring climax to the Powerful by Faith convention where we finally get to see you raise me up. I mean, sorry, with Eyes of Faith, or at least we get to see the music video for With Eyes of Faith. Predictably, it's bringing together these characters from the dramatization. We see Japanese Indiana Jones. We see the guy who has the wife and daughter who are suspiciously the same age. <laughs> They're all in paradise with Daniel. In the original video, Daniel is teaching them and explaining all of his wisdom and experiences to them. I couldn't resist <laughs> just putting myself in the video, similar to what I did earlier in the convention, because I noticed that some of you enjoyed just seeing me pop up out of nowhere. I couldn't resist it. And quite frankly, I think this propaganda needs to be mocked, needs to be made fun of, because otherwise it's quite triggering, isn't it? This is manipulative, coercive material that's intended to persuade Jehovah's Witnesses that good things await them in the future if they will only obey the governing body, if they will only acknowledge the authority of Stephen Lett and his pals. Based on Stephen Lett's talk here, I would suggest that any such loyalty is sorely misplaced. Again, I'm not convinced that Stephen Lett even has a firm grip on reality. He seems to be confusing characters in dramatizations with actual Jehovah's Witnesses. The Christian father ended up behind bars. And our sick brother was not miraculously healed. So was their faith in vain? For a certainty, no. Will Jehovah reward them? For a certainty, yes. Will Jehovah reward them? For a certainty, yes. Stephen, these are fictional characters. <laughs> and you're promising your audience that Jehovah will for a certainty, reward them. How can he reward them if they're fictional? How, how can he reward them if they are imaginary, if they have been invented by the teaching committee? Incidentally, we see William Malenfant make a similar mistake in only the Sunday morning session. Notice what he said at the end of a dramatization showing a fictitious Jehovah's Witness woman mourning the loss of her son. We deeply sympathize with the sister in the video over the loss of her son. We deeply sympathize with the fictitious sister in the video over the loss of her son. As I said in my previous rebuttal, I think this speaks volumes about the sincerity of William Malenfant and by extension, many of the speakers when they offer sympathies or when they say things like we love you or the governing body loves you how seriously can we take those claims when they're even making them regarding fictitious characters but it's one thing for William Malenfant to confuse reality and fantasy he's just after all a governing body helper Stephen Lett is a governing body member and yet he's making promises promises about what will happen in the future to fictitious dramatization characters. 